Hello, Namaste, Salam Walikum and Satrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at warawar.com. Today, it is snowing outside and a complete mixture of sleet and rain. Driving to my studio was a feat of trying to keep my vehicle from slipping and sliding onto incoming traffic. My life is in utter danger of going where my car is going. But the weather outside, for some reason, made me go back to my childhood. My dad worked at this steam turbine chain called BHL and as soon as the factory siren went off, I would hear the vessels banging in the kitchen. It took 20 minutes from the siren till my dad got home and my mom knew exactly when to start making something and in a rainy season, I knew that as soon as my dad opened the gate, the smell of my mom made masala vada would greet him. She knew how to welcome my dad home after a long day work and we would jump up at the flavors of cinnamon and masala vada as soon as he got home. Oh man, these crunchy steaming masala vada. I can sit here and go back to those days or better still let me make masala vadas and take home and curl up with a movie. For this dish you will need a movie, a television and a blanket and few other cooking ingredients. I am kidding as usual. To prepare this uh, masala vada you need uh, red chilli, cinnamon sticks, cinnamon is a must. See I have seen lot of recipes people make without cinnamon but to get a really good masala vada you want some cinnamon, chopped onions. See here I have got some chopped coriander, I have got some curry leaves and also I have little bit of uh, chopped green chilli. These are optionals if you want to add and some cumin seeds. To make this uh, masala vada all you need is chana dal that is uh, yellow gram that is soaked for at least 4-5 hours. To make this preparation what we what we do is add some cinnamon at the bottom of the blade because you want them nicely grounded and add red chillies and add some cumin seeds and then add chana dal. Do not add water to this preparation because you want this totally dry and that's how you make your masala vada. Now, if you look at this mixture, look at this. It's not a paste. It's like a coarsely, it's like a very finely chopped uh, chana dal. So you want that kind of texture. I especially like to use food processor when I'm making masala vada because I get this effect. But sometimes when you do like this, it will be very difficult to make your ma masala vadas stick together. So we will find a way to do that. Okay. Now to this mixture, add your chopped coriander, curry leaves and a little bit of green chilies and add some chopped onion. Now I have all these ingredients here uh, of masala vada. See I love to make it really coarse because um, with this I get my vadas very good. So now if you notice that if I press these things will fall apart because these are not grounded. When you make it in a wet grinder you know at home or a regular mixy you get this uh, very nicely stuck. But since I put it in a food processor they are you know they won't stick easily. So what I do I am going to add a little bit of uh, basin flour. You know if you grind it a little bit fine you know you don't need to do this but since I like my things very coarse I add a little bit of basin flour. Okay, this is not absolutely necessary just to give it a nice binding of my wasala vadas. Okay, now you can see, now it's very easy, they'll stick to each other very easily. I'm going to add some salt. Okay, okay, and then mix this very nicely. If I'm blending this mixture into three batches, two batches, I make it really coarse. One batch, I make it into a nice paste because you know then that batch will help to bind this otherwise you can add the basin as I as I showed you. To make these dumplings you know take this thing press it really nice hard and then put it between two hands and press it nicely and make a nice dumpling and your masala vada is ready. To help you make dumplings what you can do is take you know little water and then just uh, wet your hands and that way these ones don't stick to your hand easily. We will take this vada mixture and then drop it in the oil. Okay. 
as soon as you add do not mix them just let them fry for the first uh, one minute so after it uh, fries for a uh, two minutes then you check them see if you try to mix them as soon as you add they may break wow look at this beautiful wow now uh, look at this these are getting nice brown color and uh, you know masala vada you fry little longer till they get really crispy wow they are coming out extremely good now um, see our uh, masala vada are ready so let me remove them okay look at this i'll show you what is a good masala vada okay now uh, look at this masala vada see to make a good masala vada you know there should be kind of holes that need to form in a masala vada because that's when this masala vada becomes very crispy if you grind this too much fine you won't get that effect and you should see the dal you know broken dal kind of texture all around and that's what gives you a very nice crispy texture and i you know if you make this way even if you eat after 1 hour they will be crispy like any fried item do not cover them when it is hot otherwise with the steam they may get a little soft so this way if you make masala vada they will be really really crispy wow these are fantastic beautiful wow hmm hmm ha these have very good flavor of red chili and cinnamon that's what make this masala vada very special my masala vada are ready all i need to do is go back home sit in front of big screen tv and a blanket and enjoy this crunchy masala vada with your favorite movie i hope you have enjoyed today's session of learning to make this golden brown palm sized treats remember that varava is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your recipes and cooking tips more importantly i would love to hear from you about what you try at your home from varava and come back and tell me what you have learned so others may benefit from your experiments and we all need some great thank you